Okay, so let's go to UV editing. Okay, so the reason why this looks like this. TV show. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you, oh, it's doing the front and the back on the same one. So to separate them, you want to just select the front. So if you go to face, or actually just do a uh, yeah, face. Select just the front. Here, if you do a get rid of this inside edge too. If you do a UV planer, we have to fix the transform. Fold. Um, okay, so we want to make it a uh, so make these the same number, right? So ten, ten. And then we have to fix the direction of this. So, let's see, there we go. There we go. So the direction of let me control Z. So you see how this is projecting up and down, but the face is needing it to project straight onto it. So first we change the size because this was like 0.2 or something minuscule, something. So it's like a line pretty much. So we've got to change that to a larger number, 10. And then it's rotated in the wrong direction. So I just guessed zero to see where that would turn and that turned it the correct way. So now it's projecting correctly. And now you have your, your lock. So that's one side. Then all you have to do is do the other side, which is just select the other side. Deselect. Deselect that. Deselect that. Do another UV project. UV planer. And again, it's turned the wrong way, so let's make it zero. We get a 10 by 10, and bam. That's the other side. And then uh, UV shell. So um, I would do so you can take this inside, including this, because we didn't do that, and also on the opposite end, including that. Um, you could do a UV planer on that. Um, this is where we get into something the teacher didn't teach us. So, but it's what we learned in 3DF. So you go to your 3D cut sew tool under edge mode. My bad. Edge, then 3D cut sew tool. Just make one cut along the inside edge, um, and then when you exit the tool, go to UV shell this. Just unwrap it. It'll unwrap flat. It's red because we have to reverse it. So you just go to modify flip. It'll flip it. Uh, it's maybe I was wrong. Let me see. Modify flip. What's going on there? Is your geometry trying to set up? Scan. Mesh. Display reverse. Is that what's up? Maybe flip this again. What's going on? Uh, mesh display reverse. So this is definitely not inside out. But for some reason, this is red. Let's try doing. So let's do UV. Keep doing the edge. Okay, you got slip to one. Okay, so this. This. Let's try deselecting that. Let's see what that does. So this is separate now. They're still red. I don't know why they're red. Oh. There we go. Okay. I think it was just. Okay. I think we just had the wrong thing selected up here. Check the checkers, make sure they're all square. Those are good. Uh, we'll fix this side next. These are good. And this is when you want to grab that textile density. So 
we projected the same UV size on both of these. So we know the squares on this side are the same as this side because they're both 10 by 10 UV projection that we set. Uh, but this is something random. So in here, the squares are smaller, so we gotta change that. And in here, they're even smaller. So to get that to be the same, you click on the two that are the same, right? So we know those are good. So we'll grab that, go to UV toolkit, get that textile density. Oh, we don't want to straighten, we want uh, up, down, uh, there it is, so get, so it's at 204, and we can select everything else, just the two, and set it to those, now we know that those are the same squares, square size, so it's going to be about right there, it's going to be about right here, and then, uh, lastly, um, probably go like face to the inside of this. We'll do that separate from the bottom. Uh, we should do this separately, honestly. So just do this guy. If you, you just do a planer, it's fine. And go to edge, which I think it's already in. If you cut so tool. We just cut this edge. <clears throat> Wrap it. There we go. Let's do the whole red thing again where it's coloring the UVs. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why it's doing that. This guy we're gonna have to straighten, so just kind of turn them sideways. Straighten UVs. Uh, it didn't work quite right, so vertex. Uh, sorry, UVs, and then we can change it. There we go. Straighten this out. For straighten, and then should we be able to take this shell? Yeah, there we go. So now this is straight, then we set this textile density, and then we can move that down here. <coughs> right, so we could straighten this one too, and this one. This one, these two are pretty much already done. Uh, actually, what is... Oh, so that's one side and this is the other. Just set them. And yeah, that's probably fine. And set that. Side. And this top one. So this entire top part could probably be one UV planer. <laughs> Set it. Uh, we're gonna have to fix the projection. So I want this to be 10 by 10, like we did last time. Something was off. Missing. It's projecting in the right direction. I'm missing something. Maybe it's just the fact I have to unfold it. And then set text on density. There we go. Okay. That one's good. And straighten might be able to take care of that right off the bat. We may not have to mess with it. Straighten V's. Yep, it did. Let's turn that sideways. And last but not least, we 
show. Oops. Good show. These are all separate. Right. Okay, so give your planer. These are in the wrong direction. Put in the right direction. Don't unwrap, which is not gonna unwrap because we have to make a cut. So edge, UV, cut so tool, right along the corner is probably a good spot for it. to uh, UV shell, then unwrap it. There we go, now it unwraps. And then we go back here, set the text length density. So now the squares are all the same size. And now let's try and get it to be able to be straightened. If we straighten it right now, it'll mess up, so. Let's go to UV. <coughs> we got a bunch of minuscule stuff. Something strange going on there. Topology. spend too much time on this because I got a lot to do tonight but basically you just want to try and get this to straighten out and then um, this is how you kind of do the planar mapping in pieces rather than doing it all at once or trying to do, do two sides at the same time it's just going to cause issues but there you go. the whole thing's blue and yeah you still have to do the bottom ones but that's just the gist of it so it kind of help you understand um <clears throat> yeah, hopefully that helps. Walk looks good though. Nice job modeling it. <laughs> 